Okay, this video is called Calculating the Median Median Line, and we're going to look at how your calculator goes about calculating the equation for the median median line given a set of data points. So, the first thing that your calculator does is come up with three summary points, and we're going to look at how your calculator comes up with those summary points. So, coming up with the summary points is a three step process, and the first step is that you order your data points in order from least to greatest according to your independent variable. That is the x variable. So here I've got my data set here, my x values, my y values. I want to put them in order. I want to put all these. I've got nine points here. I want to put these nine points in order from least to greatest according to the x value. So let's see, my smallest x value is 26, so that's going to be first. My next is 28, 29, and then let's see, 38 is next, and 46, 48, 49, and then 57 and 65. Okay, so now here's all my x coordinates in order from least to greatest. Now, I'm ordering my data points in order by the x coordinates. So, next I want to fill in all of my corresponding y values, and I want to keep all the y values with their corresponding x values. So, 26, let's see, that's 8.8. .8. 28, 8.5. 29, 8.9. Now, Pretty quickly you notice that even though your x values are in order from least to greatest, since we're just matching up the y value with its corresponding x value, it may turn out that your y values are not in fact in order from least to greatest. So I can see this goes 26, 28, 29, least to greatest. This goes 8.8, .8, then 8.5, and then 8.9. So my x values are in order from least to greatest, but my y values are not necessarily in order from least to greatest. So let's keep going here, 28, uh, 38. 6.0, 46 and 4.9, 5.1, 4.4, 4, 2.5, and 1.1. Okay, so I've got all my data points in order from least to greatest according to my independent variable. All right, step two, I want to divide my data set into three balanced groups, and balanced actually it means two things in this context. When we say balanced group, what we mean is the sizes of the three groups don't differ by more than one. Now in this case, I've got nine points in my data set, so my balanced groups are each going to have three points in them. So this is a, anytime you've got a data set that's divisible by three, it's fairly straightforward. Each, each group, each one of your groups is going to have the same number of points in it. We're going to look at some data sets a little bit later in which we don't have uh, numbers of data points that are evenly divisible by three. So the sizes of the three groups don't differ by more than one. And the second thing is the outside groups must have the same number of points. And so if I divide my data set here into my three balance groups, here are my three balance groups for this data set. And again, you can see that each group has exactly three points in it. The sizes of the groups don't differ by more than one. They've all got exactly the same number of points. And the outside groups, that is this group and this group, they have the same number of points, three and three. And again, this is going to be slightly uh, different when we look at data sets that are not evenly divisible by three, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Okay, so I've got my data set divided into my three balanced groups. My final step is that for each of my three groups, I want to find the ordered pair that is the median 
x value and the median y value. Okay, so let's take this first group here. I want the median x value. Well, my x values are already in order from least to greatest, so my median x value is just going to be this value here in the middle. So for this first group, let's call this, let's call this point A. For my first group, my median x value is 28. I want to find my median y value. Well, my median y value, remember the median value is just the value that's in the middle. And if I just take this value here, that value is 8.5. This is not the median value of these three y values here. In fact, if I were to rearrange these and put them in order from least to greatest, they would go 8.5, 8.8, 8.9, 8 and I can see that 8.8 .8 is going to be my middle value, so that's my median y value for this group. So 8.8, .8, that's my median y value. All right, let's take a look at my second group here. We'll call this summary point, point B. And once again, my median x value is just this value here. Those are already in order from least to greatest. My median y value, let's see. I got 4.9, 5.1, 6.0. So 5.1 is going to be my median y value. And my third data point, my third summary point, my median x value is going to be 57. And my median y value, 1.1, 2.5, is going to be... 2.5. So here I've just calculated what are called the three summary points for this data set. Now let's take a look at what exactly your calculator does with these three summary points. So here are the three points that we just calculated. We call this point A, point B, and point C. I want to graph these points on a set of x, y axes. So first let me get my scales set here. Let's see, I've got for my x values, I've got 28, 46, and 57. So let me set my scale. Let me go from 20 to 60. So 20 will be down here, and I'll put 60 here. And for my y values, 8.8, 5.1, 2.5, I'll just go from 0 to 10 for my y values. Okay, so let's see, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 0 to 10, maybe about 5. Okay, so let me plot these points here. So point A, 28 and 8.8. .8. So 28 is about right here. 8.8 .8 is about right here. So here's point A. Point B, 46 and 5.1 is about... Like about right here. And point C, 57 and 2.5. So 57 and 2.5, about right here. Okay, so what your calculator does after it calculates the three summary points, it then calculates a line between these two points, the two outside points. And so here's that line between those two points. And we could do that by hand. We know the coordinates of these two points. We could use the point slope form of the equation of a line, and we could come up with this equation for this line right here. After it calculates the equation of this line between these two points, it essentially moves this line a little bit closer to this third point. Notice this third point does not lie on this line. We're looking for a line that most closely approximates the whole data set. So we want it to kind of go through the middle of our set of points. So the line goes right through these two points. We're going to move it up a little bit closer to this line. And what your calculator does is it calculates the distance from this point to this line. And then it moves it two-thirds of the way closer to that line. So that would be, let's say, about right here. And this line is going to keep the same slope. This line would look about like that. And this line right here is the median, median regression line. 